What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at it again with another video. So, you guys have been hitting me up all day about this whole Mandy Rose situation. Apparently, WWE uh fired her today. Let her go, man. After her uh pretty legendary nxt uh women's championship title run i believe it was over 400 days she just actually lost it last night um so she ends up losing the the women's uh nxt championship for holding it for over 400 days to only get released the next day by wwe so we're gonna check out what's going on here what potentially was the reason for her release from wwe and we're gonna get right into this man this is brought to you by cbr.com um, wwe fires mandy rose over posting risque content online in a surprise move wwe fired superstar mandy rose over her fan time content sean ross sap of fightful reports that the former nxt women's champion was released by wwe due to posting risque photos and videos that were against her contractual terms the move comes after uh the move comes after last night's nxt broadcast where rose 413 day reign as women's champion ended at the hands of roxanne perez according to sap wwe uh, wwe officials felt they were put in a tough position based on the content she was posting on her brand army page they felt like it was outside of the parameters of her wwe deal now the now ex wwe star whose real name is amanda rose uh sako sakomano i'm sure i probably pronounced that wrong began her career as a bodybuilding comp uh competitor and won the title of world's uh world's beauty fitness and fashion bikini champion in 2014 sakomano turned her attention to pro wrestling when she became a contestant in the sixth season of wwe tough enough in 2015 it was in the season of finale where sakamano i'm probably still pronouncing this wrong renamed herself manny rose but went uh, on to not only lose to alicia fox in a tryout match but also ranked second in the overall competition Mandy uh, Rose WWE main roster path despite the tough enough loss Rose signed a five-year deal with WWE she competed in the NXT brand before getting called to the main roster as part of the uh, faction of absolution alongside Sonya Deville and former WWE star Paige eventually Rose and Deville broke off from Paige to become the standalone tag team called fire and desire I do remember that um after a failed attempt at winning the wwe tag uh, uh team titles rose and deville gradually separated as a result of a romantic crush and storyline involving wwe superstar otis who remembers that the high point of their feud was july 31st 2020 edition of smackdown when deville cut uh rose blonde hair in a backstage assault they had a memorable loser leaves wwe a match at SummerSlam 2022 where Rose was victorious. Shortly before the SummerSlam match, Rose and real life friend DeVille were involved in a cyber stalking incident that turned into an attempt kidnapping by a South Carolina man. The man broke into the star's shared home to kidnap DeVille and murder Rose. Whoa! Did not notice. He was arrested and charged with aggravated stalking, armed burglary, and dwelling. It, uh, armed bur a burglary of a uh, of a dwelling attempted armed kidnapping and criminal mischief mischief i did not know this did not know that information in 2021 rose was moved back over to nxt brand where she formed a group toxic attraction with Gigi dolan and jc jane uh, she defeated raquel rodriguez in a chucky's uh choice trick or treat a uh, street fight match at Halloween Havoc to win the NXT Women's Championship. The title win made Rose the third woman to hold the title for an entire uh, one-year reign. Man, yeah, man, uh, it's it's crazy, bro. Honestly, like it's one of those situations where it's like apparently for whatever uh, reason, um, WWE was just not okay with what was uh, um, what 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 stuff that was uh being seen online now apparently and i don't know how true this is so you guys let me know but 
I've been seeing some reports on Twitter where apparently she got blackmailed. I guess the person had said something about her, you know, her her content or whatnot. And I, there's like a screenshot, and I'm not sure how accurate it is, but the screenshot shows Mandy DMing the guy like, hey, can you delete that tweet? The guy was pretty much on some blackmail and stuff. Like, you send me some money, I'll delete the tweet or whatever. And I'm guessing maybe WWE looked into it. I don't know how true this is. So I'm just taking this with a grain of salt. But either way, I don't know if she should be suspended by a wolf fired by this i mean there has been certain situations where people get second third fourth and fifth chances so i don't know if mandy rose has been in a situation where she's gotten in trouble before but it just kind of seemed out of nowhere that wwe would not suspend her or at least try to have some type of way to you know maybe rectify the situation maybe she would have to shut down that other site it's like it's like only fans but it's not so maybe she would have to shut that down maybe wwe didn't know she had that i don't know there's a lot of questions that it just i don't it's not it's not adding up it's just really brash for a company that is willing to put this person in uh in the championship role in nxt for over a year to not know she has some type of um some type of like only fans type website that she you know she's a part of how you not know that from the jump because if if it violates your contract then that's something you should possibly know so i don't i don't know why all of a sudden i guess maybe the images get out or maybe someone saw this and then i was like you know we gotta look into this and like you know what we can't really have her in wwe because we're trying to promote the family friendly stuff even though once again there's other people that have done some things and they're still within the company you know they've had multiple opportunities hell you guys remember the whole page situation with the 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 leaked photos with of her and xavier woods now granted that was leaked obviously she didn't put that out there so of course nothing really was going to happen to her in this situation i don't know it seems like she got blackmailed by tweed and you know or maybe they just went and saw like hey this violates our guidelines we don't really want our wrestlers you know having these type of being a part of these type of websites so i don't know it's it's really quite confusing and it, you know it seemed like damn you put this type of trust into someone to carry the nxt women's division only for them to get the boot right after they lose the title so i don't know man uh i didn't even know about the whole stalking situation and someone trying to murder them and and kidnap them i definitely did not know about that so that really surprised me about this article you know but comment down below let me know what's y'all thoughts on this do y'all think wwe was kind of you know uh overzealous in this situation and firing her letting her go or do y'all think they you know they were right to do that you know because of their brand uh, and also let me know um do y'all um i guess know any more sit more about the whole twitter situation with i guess some random person on twitter uh blackmailing her do y'all know how how true is that because I, I saw the stuff on twitter you know i, I wasn't sure if this was true or if this you know someone was making up the reason or why mandy rose got let go but let me know that down below i would like to get your thoughts opinions on this whole situation i had to make sure i came home and made this video for you guys so we can have this discussion because me personally i just think wwe kind of uh they were a little over overzealous in this in my opinion you've known this person for a minute now if you didn't know they had this i don't i don't know how you missed this and if that's the case then this should have been maybe a conversation had say hey you can't be a part of this company if you have this website so maybe she could have figured out something i don't know but it just seems very odd for them to just randomly say you know what all right uh this situation just came out we've seen you got some risky stuff online we gotta get rid of you so but let me know down below but i appreciate all the love and support road to 150k appreciate y'all kicking with me see y'all next one peace